If you remember back a few weeks ago, I did a build where I got ChatGPT to design an original fuzz, and then I built that fuzz and we tested it out, and it actually sounded pretty good. Well, I got access to Bard finally, and I thought, hey, I want to do the same thing just to see if it can spit something out that was even half as good as that um, chat bill. You guys might not know, but in 2008, my wife and I started an effects pedal company, um, and I've built loads of different fuzz pedals, designed loads of different fuzzes, overdrives, wire pedals, that sort of thing. So it's something I've got a lot of experience in, and I think if you want to build with Bard or ChatGPT, you kind of do need, to, or at this stage anyway, you need to have some knowledge of circuitry and how it all sort of works because it's actually quite difficult to get the right information out of these um, AI bots. I went through the same process as last time. So I got Bard to design for me an original fuzz and it took less work than last time only three revisions instead of six on that third revision it was definitely something a bit different and original a lot of the the our first two revisions were just stuff lifted from online similar to last time but the problem with bard is that it was very difficult from then on to sort of converse with bard to actually get the information i needed to create a a proper schematic that I could then use to build this fuzz. Bard really holds on to things. So when, uh, just say Bard came up with an idea and I'd say, hey, that's that's probably not gonna work. Um, do you really think that's a good idea? And Bard would just like absolutely stick to his guns about why this is a good idea. I've seen it a whole bunch of times, all that sort of stuff. And you'd have to, I'd have to unequivocally prove to Bard that it's not a good idea, it's not gonna work. And then he'd just say something like, Oh, well, you know, I'm learning, um, I can make mistakes sometimes, that sort of thing. But finally, it took a lot of talking. We got there, and next it was just really time to build it. Cool, so is this an original design? I definitely think it is. It's got some really original aspects to it. It's not something I have seen before out there. I mean, everything that you, when you've been doing it a long time, when you look at things like fuzz pedals, overdrives, distortions, you can generally see like a lineage, but it often comes down to the details that makes things sound so different, especially when it comes to fuzz, like how they feel and how they sound and respond is all in those details. So. Bard wanted a germanium silicon hybrid, which I thought was pretty cool. Bard had a really interesting take on the tone control, which was quite interesting. It's not something I would do, but I thought that was quite an interesting take. Cool, so that's kind of the main guts of it. I, let's just see how it sounds. Have a look at these controls. So fuzz. Quite a bit of control of fuzz there. I've got this neck pickup split by the way, so I'm kind of using like a single coil vibe. That's pretty nice. Tone control. It's actually pretty cool. All the way to dark, the darker C. 
anything. The tone controls position actually affects how much saturation you get as well. And as the fuzz goes up, the tone controls gonna have less effect. It's more gonna be like a feel thing. Just check my other camera. Obviously volume is a lot. So it's driving that amp pretty hard. I'll just keep it on about half. What about maximum? So yeah, when we have it up here. That's for the tone control at full, but as I wind it down, you probably won't hear, I don't think you're gonna hear too much difference as I wind this down. Oh, and it's definitely different. And it definitely, it feels different with that wound down because of where it's, because of how the tone control is designed, it's going to, um, like I said before, it affects that clipping. So it affects how it clips, what frequencies it clips. It's, it's an interesting control. Okay, so if I set like this, I'm going to just roll my volume back. That's pretty cool. So it does roll really good when that fuzz is on full. Yeah, cool. Approximately 10 hours later. So guys, I hope you really enjoyed that. It was a heck of a lot of fun for me to do and to make. Um, so what's up next for these two guys is I really want to do like a shootout, like a Bard versus chat gpt fuzz um, it'll be coming in a video soon so if you want to please subscribe uh, don't miss that one it's probably going to be really interesting um, i'm not sure who's going to win out of these two platforms which one did i prefer and it was definitely chat gpt to work with when i was working with chat it was kind of like working with a person and you sort of bounce off each other and it feels fairly organic the way you work with the ai to get the information you need with bard um, it was like Bard was telling you stuff and very stubbornly sticking to what he thought. Chat was by far way more um, enjoyable to work with, even though they were both a lot of hard work to get the information out. Hey guys, I hope you really enjoyed that. I'm looking forward to this next video I'm going to do, which is going to be the Bard versus Chatbot fuzz off. So if you want to check that out, please subscribe and we'll catch you next time. Cheers.